Norton's Dome Paradox, a smooth, rounded hill with a perfectly round ball resting on top. Both the hill and the ball are frictionless, so by the usual rules of motion, the ball should stay put, right? Here's the twist that challenges physics. According to Norton's Dome Paradox, if the hill shape is just right, the ball might start rolling on its own for no apparent reason. It's like the ball defies the normal rules that require an object to have a push or pull to start moving. This paradox challenges our understanding of motion, even in a simple Newtonian world. Place Paradox Imagine everything in the world needs to be somewhere. A book is on a shelf. A ball is in a box. But here's the twist that makes your head spin. According to this paradox, even the somewhere itself needs to be somewhere else. So, the shelf needs to be on something, and that something needs to be on something else, and so on forever. This mindbender is called the paradox of place. It challenges our understanding of where things truly are, because it seems to create an infinite chain of somewhere. Irresistible force paradox. Imagine the strongest force in the universe, able to crush anything. Now imagine an object so tough it can't be budged, no matter how strong the force. Here's the mind bender. According to this paradox, if these two ever met, it would be a stalemate. The unstoppable force can't stop, and the immovable object can't move. It's a clash of opposites that breaks the rules. This puzzle is called the irresistible force paradox. It challenges our understanding of extremes and what might happen if they met. Tea Leaf Paradox Imagine stirring a cup of tea. The leaves swirl around, right? But here's the twist that messes with logic. According to this paradox, when you stop stirring, the leaves don't all gather at the edge like in a whirlpool. Instead, they sink to the center and bottom of the cup. It's like an invisible force pulls them down in the middle. This mind bender is called the Tea Leaf Paradox. It challenges our understanding of how things move in liquids that are swirling. Elevator Paradox Scientists use a special float called a bobber to measure liquid thickness. Picture this bobber floating in a sealed jar full of liquid as the jar goes up in an elevator. Normally, the pressure on the bobber shouldn't change, right? But here's the twist that messes with science. According to the elevator paradox, the bobber might act strangely, as if the liquid changed somehow even though it didn't. It's like the moving elevator confuses the bobber about the pressure around it. This puzzle challenges our understanding of how pressure works and how it affects floating things in liquids. Arrow Paradox An arrow speeding through the air. We know it's moving, right? But here's the twist that messes with our minds. According to this paradox, if you could break time down into incredibly tiny moments, like freezing a movie frame by frame, the arrow wouldn't actually be moving in any of those moments. In each tiny snapshot, it would appear frozen in place. But if the arrow is always frozen in these tiny slices of time, how can it possibly be flying? This puzzle is called the arrow paradox. It challenges our understanding of how things move at incredibly small scales of time. Achilles and the tortoise. Imagine a super fast runner. Achilles racing against a slowpoke tortoise. To make it fair, the tortoise gets a head start. Here's the mind bender. According to this paradox, Achilles might never actually catch the tortoise. Why? Because by the time Achilles reaches the spot where the tortoise was, the tortoise will have crawled a little further ahead. And by the time Achilles gets to that new spot, the tortoise will have moved again. It's like Achilles keeps chasing a moving target that he can never quite reach even though he's much faster. This puzzle is called the Achilles and the Tortoise Paradox. It challenges our understanding of infinity and how things add up in tiny steps. Hydrostatic Paradox A huge heavy ship made of metal seems destined to sink, right? But here's the twist. According to the Hydrostatic Paradox, the ship could actually float in just a few liters of water. If the water it displaces were spread out in a special way, like in many flat containers. It's not about the total amount of water, but how the pressure is distributed. This mind bender challenges our understanding of how water pressure affects buoyancy, not how much water there is in total. Cool Tropics Paradox Imagine Earth millions of years ago, super warm with no ice caps. 
Scientists thought the tropics would be super hot, like giant ovens. But clues like fossils hinted at cooler temperatures there. This mismatch between what scientists expected and what the Earth seemed to be saying became a big mystery called the Cool Tropics Paradox. It made scientists rethink how Earth's climate worked in the past. Aristotle's Wheel Paradox Picture a wheel with another smaller wheel fixed in the center. Now, roll this wheel forward. Here's the surprising part. According to Aristotle's wheel paradox, both the big outer wheel and the tiny inner wheel would travel the same distance. This seems impossible because the big wheel covers more ground in one rotation, right? This paradox challenges our understanding of distance traveled by different parts of a rolling object. Denny's Paradox a tiny insect that can walk on water. It seems impossible, right? Here's the twist that messes with physics. According to this paradox, these water bugs shouldn't be able to skim across the water's surface at all. Science says the water is too smooth for their tiny legs to push against. It's like they're defying gravity by walking on air trapped on water. This mind bender is called Denny's paradox. It challenges our understanding of how tiny creatures move on water. Moving rows. Imagine three rows of people standing side by side. The middle row stays put, while the other two rows walk away from it in opposite directions. Now, picture a super quick moment, shorter than a blink. In that tiny moment, according to this paradox, someone in a moving row might pass one person in the still row. But here's the twist. The paradox says they should also pass two people in the opposite moving row at the same time. It's like squeezing a whole bunch of movement into an impossible instant. This mind bender is called the moving rose paradox. It challenges our understanding of how fast things can move and how we break down time into tiny bits. Fanman sprinkler. A regular lawn sprinkler, the kind that spins and sprays water. Now picture this. What if we put the sprinkler underwater and sucked water towards it instead of spraying it out? Which way would it spin? if at all. Here's the twist that messes with our intuition. According to this paradox, there's no clear answer. Some scientists thought it would spin the same way as usual, while others thought it would spin the opposite way. The truth is, it barely spins at all. This mind bender is called the Feynman sprinkler paradox. It challenges our understanding of how moving water makes things turn. Upstream contamination. Imagine carefully pouring clean water from a high jug into a bowl with tiny floating particles on top. Normally, you'd expect the particles to stay put, right? But here's the surprising twist. According to this paradox, some of these particles might defy the usual flow and end up in the jug somehow, seemingly riding up the stream of water. This mind bender is called the upstream contamination paradox. It challenges our understanding of how fluids behave and how tiny particles move within them.